Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Mobile operator MTN South Africa hopes to increase awareness of the engineering profession by providing near real-time video coverage of the Bloodhound supersonic car as it attempts to improve the current land speed record at the Huxkian Pan in the Northern Cape from 2014 onwards. Adele Esterhazen has the story. Royal Air Force Wing Commander Andy Green, who is the current land speed record holder, will be driving the Bloodhound. The first test runs to initially improve the current land speed record of 1,228 km per hour to 1,300 km per hour will be undertaken in April 2014, after which the final goal of 1,600 km per hour would be attempted in 2015. MTN South Africa Radio Optimization and Planning GM Krishna Chetty has indicated that the company would spend between 30 million and 35 million to provide international live video streaming of the Bloodhound's record breaking attempts by using broadband data backhaul from the Hoxkian Pan to Uppington, 200 kilometers away. We are building a self provided transmission network to backhaul traffic from what, in essence, is a desert back to Uppington to be taken back to the World Wide Web. This will help us facilitate a near real-time experience for those guys that are going to be in touch with what's going on in the project on a daily basis. MTN will be using a long-term evolution or LTE network for on-car video and diagnostics upload. A world first for the technology at speeds of well over 450 kilometers per hour. The JSE listed group will also provide 3G coverage on both its 1,200 and 900 bands to ensure it catered for the coverage and capacity requirements of visitors and media at the PAN. The LTE coverage that we'll provide is actually a first in the world in terms of what we will achieve over a certain speed. And with regards to diagnostics and video on the uplink, we're actually going to be beating that 600 kilometer current uh, let's call it record that is held by I think Ericsson who've put some kit on a fighter jet and uh, got it up to 600 kilometers per hour. So when we're looking at the relative speeds, we'll probably be working at a relative speed around the 550 kilometers per hour and that's a function of the distance from where the tower is to where the track will be. Most of the sites MTN will construct at the pan to host its technology would be hybrid, running on grid power and solar panels. However, the site that would provide backhaul to enable a near real-time experience would operate completely off-grid. Globally, as well as locally, not enough engineers are being trained to construct and maintain the high-speed, low-carbon world of tomorrow. The Southern African Institute for Industrial Engineering has indicated that it would require at least a thousand additional engineers a year to be produced. Now, if you look at education in the country and in Africa in general, there's been a decline in the STEM disciplines, which is the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So we feel that partnering with Bloodhound will, will show how science, engineering, technology, and mathematics can be perceived in a much more vibrant and exciting way. And that if we can achieve this, then we'll have more kids taking up the disciplines in high school and university and contribute to a growing knowledge economy for South Africa and for the continent in, in, in general. Green stated that one of the Bloodhound's main objectives were to develop an interest among the youth to take on careers in engineering, science, technology and mathematics. Uh, at the moment the UK has one engineer for every 300 people. South Africa has one engineer for every 3,000 people. So you're 10% of the way there. We, the aim of Bloodhound is to try and get those young people, the 8, 9, 10, 11 year old kids, to develop an interest in science and technology. They will be the engineers and scientists of the future. And it's everything from showing them how the car works, taking them through the technology and science lessons, through to letting them see live video from the car on the internet every time it runs. We're gonna, we've got 16 cameras on Bloodhound and we'll be live streaming from two or three of those cameras every single time we run. Um, that's one of the reasons that MTN is such a key partner for us is because they are making it technically possible for the first time in history to take live video from a 1600 kilometer an hour car, package it, transmit it out and put it out to the whole world. 
Other news making headlines this week. The latest affordable Joburg inner city residential building is launched. An ABSA and Imperial joint venture hopes to improve access to commercial vehicle finance and Transnet awards empowered firms the largest slice of its 2 billion rand audit pie. Newgate, the latest affordable residential precinct in Johannesburg's inner city, with rentals ranging from 1,750 rand for the smallest unit to 3,000 rand for the largest unit, was launched early last month, with the first of about 500 tenants already having moved in. This is a great building because it's located in a fantastic place. It's in Bree Street, directly opposite the Bree Street taxi rank, also known as Metro Mall, which is one of Joburg's big taxi ranks. So it's great because from here you can very easily reach actually any part of, uh, of the city, in fact I should probably say any part of Southern Africa that you wanted to go to you can pretty much get there from the Bree Street taxi rank and you're just crossing the road from the building. Uh, and then the flats themselves uh, are really I think very well done. Each flat has uh, a small kitchen, uh, small but well uh, appointed, so a granite uh, surface in the kitchen, uh, a very good uh, quite deep basin so people can also do a little bit of washing if they need to, uh, a good bathroom also with uh, a granite tops in, in the bathroom and uh, obviously hot and cold running water, uh, apartments of different sizes and then also each and every single unit has a DSTV connection so you can plug in your DSTV, it has an internet connection, just plug in and it also has a voice over internet telephone which means that you can make calls very cheaply. A newly formed preferred supplier agreement between ABSA Group and transport company Imperial Group is set to afford prospective Imperial customers improved access to vehicle and asset finance from the Barclays subsidiary. We are obviously very proud to announce and celebrate this, this relationship between, uh, between ABSA and, and the Imperial Group. Um, as indicated, this will allow ABSA to make available financing and solution options to Imperial and, uh, and their clients you know, in the commercial asset financing environment. To fulfill its transformation agenda, state-owned transport and logistics group Transnet has appointed local black-owned accountancy firm Sekelele Abiso to lead its five-year two billion rand internal audit contract. On 27 November, Transnet issued a tender which was closed on the 2nd of January 2013. Transnet has to maintain its empowerment transformation and supply development objectives. Following this rigorous, open and public process, three firms were appointed to see to the Transnet's internal audit function for the next five years. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to announce that the homegrown black firms Sekela Kabiso and Ngongi Incorporated and one of the big four, KPMG, will manage Transnet internal and audit function for the next five years. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.